what is going on everybody and welcome back to final fantasy 7 rebirth so we are picking up um not exactly where we left off last time but i have been doing some of the side quests just to kind of move things along so as you see in nibelheim region we did get a side quest after chapter 12 and it's pretty much just another simulation just like chad lee um, we're currently in the Junon region to see if we can go ahead and complete the last side quest here. Then we have a few more in the Corel region, and then we also have the Prior's Treasure. We got a few more in Cosmo Canyon. So I'm just trying to clean all of these up before we start chasing the Turks. And also we have Regina in the Gungaga region, which we need to face off um, to see if we can complete that whole um, Queen's Blood story quest. And we have the Pirate's Treasure that we have to do. So yeah, there's quite a chunk that we have to get through, so let's see how far we can get. Beneath still waters. Alright. Let's see if we have a fast travel for that quest. Uh, it's over here. This is the Proto Relic, uh, which one would be faster for me to go from here down? Oh no, I got the excavation site right here. Perfect. It's really you! 7th Infantry, right? It's good to see you again, Captain! You here to offer support? Something like that. Sit rep? Sir, we managed to contain a dangerous fiend in the sector up ahead. But said fiend proved more formidable than expected. So we were awaiting reinforcements. And imagine our surprise when you showed up! The target seems to have settled down, but there's no telling when it'll act up again. Now's the perfect time to take the thing out. Suppose we ought to lend him a hand, huh? All right, Captain, follow us. Nice, it's good to see the guys from the 7th Infantry. After we did the whole parade situation with them. I wonder what this dangerous fiend is. You. Fall back now, sir. Okay. Oh, ice, okay. I hit him with weakness, but that did not pressure him. Okay, just if inflicting enough damage will do it. Regen on cloud. Almost had me there. Don't stop now. Lock on this. Uh, nah, I won't need it. Push the Tifa. I 
I thought he was defeated, but all we did was cut off his tail. Well, that's not good. If we don't find and stop that feed, it could kill countless civilians. That a chocobo could track its scent. You're on it? Yeah. Good. We'll return to Junon. The garrison needs to be informed about the situation. That thing's vicious. Give it the chance, and it'll rip your heads clean off. So make sure you beat it to the punch. We'll link back up with you once we finish our report. Till then, Captain! Where's my chocobo? There he is. Let's see, where could he be at? Hopefully it won't be an ambush. Uh, more than likely it'll be an ambush. We're going across the water? Looks like we're going to have a joint battle with two fiends here. Oh man, he ran away. Some sonic boom. It's on you. me on like a perpetual stagger there there you go he staggered Taking so much damage like this. All right, good. They're both down. All right, before I do that, let me pop um, some items for Barrett.
use these small potions up. I don't really don't use them, so. There we go. Get my ether up. There we go. Let's end this. Stop running. Oh, he's immune now? So good. I gotta stop doing it. Physical attacks it is. Is it still gonna reflect? Yep. Alright. So let's go with. Synergy ability. Chi trap. Perfect. No more games. It's over. Leave it to me. Take him down. This is I'm told that the target's been neutralized. Excellent work out there. Ma'am. <laughs> Something on your mind, trooper? Very well. Permission to speak granted. What's the 7th Infantry still doing out here? I figured you guys would have been shipped back to Midgar by now. Normally, I wouldn't answer that sort of question. But why not? The Brass ordered us to remain behind, following the ceremony. Anything else? That little Hellion back there was a bioweapon developed by R&D with the cooperation of advanced weaponry. They were keeping it in that underwater facility of theirs, but it managed to escape during a recent... Incident. Our investigations are ongoing, but we suspect the Shinra Resistance Committee was involved. You're familiar with their operations? Nope, not at all. Mm 
They may operate as independent cells, but it seems they communicate regularly. While well, united by their desire to take down Shinra, the how and why of it varies considerably between factions. Some see civilian casualties as acceptable collateral damage, or our fault. I've no doubt these extremists stick that monster on the city. Such scum deserve nothing less than to be trapped in a room full of tonberries. Our orders were to neutralize the fleeing fiend and ensure the safety of the local populace. While we succeeded in locating the target and keeping it contained within an isolated area, it was too tough to take on. After we parted ways with you, we hurried back to Junon and called for additional reinforcements. But our calls went unanswered. There just aren't enough troopers to go around. That's bullshit. There's plenty of troopers. They just didn't want to help because they heard we were fraternizing with the enemy. I have to admit, I was worried the situation might have gotten completely out of hand. But you managed to bring it under control. You did good out there today. <laughs> I must say, in all my wildest dreams, I never thought I'd have a soldier in my ranks. One who keeps such unusual company at that. Suspected terrorists, a Utaya ninja, an escaped lab rat, and an ancient. At ease, we're heading home. I need to report today's events, how the 7th Infantry resolved the crisis on its own. So you're not gonna tell them about us? <laughs> no, but you best leave before I change my mind. Otherwise, I might just strap you to the back of a dragon. Assuming we all live long enough, there's a chance we may meet again someday. Though let's hope for your sakes that it isn't on the field of battle. We thank you for your support, Captain. 7th Infantry, salute! At ease, troop. For good this time. All right, not a bad quest. Interesting to see the 7th Infantry, or the 7th Division again. So yeah, Grasslands is done, Junon is done. Let's head to Corral, and let's do this quest that we had here. That goes to the Soul, whoops. you enough for handling that mess is there anything i can do for you mm. let's ask about johnny who oh that ungrateful schlub i hope the hero is enjoying his 15 minutes of fame it won't last and neither will his hilltop roach trap just give it time <laughs> I certainly wasn't expecting the professor to do something like that. Still, I'm a simple man, and from what I gather, his experiment was of great scientific import. So while I could have done without the collateral damage, it fills me with pride to be the mayor who holds a special footnote in Shinra's illustrious history. There were a few injuries, yes, but no guests were killed. In all honesty, the professor did us a service by ridding us of those robes. The freaks were ruining our ambience. Shinra also did us a service by providing us with a generous do uh, uh, Forget I said anything. Well, all that ugliness is in the past. Let's look to our future, one that's bright and mutually beneficial. I'm not buying it. 
Oh, surely I can sell you on the idea of lending the merc I've hired a hand. What's this about a merc? Oh, perhaps your associates. That makes things easier. You see, some fiends popped out of the water and assaulted a group of innocent beachgoers the other day. The young lady agreed to exterminate those pests, only to go on a bender at a bar on the beach. I paid her a handsome sum up front, too, so I intend to get my money's worth. Oh, and after you've gotten rid of those monsters, as a personal favor, I want you to take care of that merc. Uh... She's been spending the money I paid her to do nothing but party. Each time she learned there are some folks you don't cross. Hmm. Agreed. I've no doubt you'll find her at that damn bar. Do give her my regards. Hmm. At this rate, it's gonna take me the whole day just to assemble my deck. But hey, time flies when you're having fun, I guess. Okay, uh, I'll come back and beat this guy later. Let's go continue with the quest. Uh, she's where on the beach bar yep all right it's gotta be uh what's her name Kyrie or whatever yep there she is oh, hey there cloud welcome to my Costa del Sol headquarters <laughs> figured I'd set up shop here in case there's trouble in paradise I know Junon was kind of a bust, but I'm back and better than ever. Same goes for my advertising. So don't you worry about me, my fellow Merc. Aren't you supposed to be working? <sighs> really? Another lecture? <sighs> for a 20-something, you sound like my grandma. And for the record, I have been working, thank you very much. I figured out where the fiends are probably gonna show. All that's left is to have someone else do the cleanup. Let me guess. Me? Exactly. So don't try to pin it on this merc. The whole situation would be resolved if you did your job. Nobody likes a slacker. Man, this girl's got some nerve. And coming from me, I've seen a lot. But if we don't do something, it's your good name that's gonna end up taking the hit. Hmm. She's got a point. <laughs> so, here's the deal. Your thoughtful boss has dug up a recipe for bait that ought to lure those monsters out of hiding. All you need to do is gather the materials and make some for yourself. Here. When you're done, head to the off-limits beach across town for some monster baiting. <sighs> you're coming with. Can't do this alone. According to the recipe, it looks like you're gonna need to get some rare-ass monster parts. And I do mean rare. Probably can't find them around here. Oh. Did I say probably? I meant definitely. Okay, in order to do Kyrie's job for her and exterminate the fiends, scaring away would be beachgoers, you must first lure them out with special bait. Alright, let's see. Okay, what do I miss? Uh, the Great Marlboro Tendril and a Jabberwock Horn. Okay. I thought I already got all this stuff. Okay, where well, I know where the, um, what you call it, Great Marlboro is. Is it Gangaga? Yeah. Yep, there he is. Okay, so I'm going to collect these items, and then I'll meet back, well, bring the video back once I have everything, and we'll complete the quest. Okay, so we are back in Corral, and we have all the items. So the Marlboro, as you saw, was in Gangaga, 
and the Jabberwock is the Master Fiend in Cosmo Canyon. But just in case you need to know, let's see, we're gonna go in here. And now that we have the key, we can open this uh, restricted beach access. All right, let's make this bait. Oh, you know what? I really should have rested and got my XP up. Let me do that real quick. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a bench. Yeah, let's go to Johnny's real quick. Quick rest, get my MP and health back up. Nice. Quick and easy. Now that everyone's nice and refreshed. Yep, let's use the bait. And destroy whatever this fiend is. Mm -hmm. Some legend. This bait's a bust. too soon all right well we got two sea devils don't think you'll walk away from this best do it right ice it is well Barrett's messed up all right let's see what this gorgon shield is because I haven't used it yet She's working on him, so... Better go tell Kyrie. Right. So, uh, what about the mayor's other request? You know, the whole take care of her thing. I mean, lying isn't the greatest, but she doesn't deserve that. Not yet, at least. All right, let's go see. The best way to make tracks is on Choco Bag. Choco Bowls for rent. All passengers with reservations at the Royal Coast. Right this way, please. Is this faster than running? Oh man. So I'm gonna just take it straight onto the beach. Mm-hmm. 
Welcome back, fellow Merc. So, did you take care of those baddies? Yep. Oh, perfect. In that case, I'm gonna go tell the mayor so I can claim my reward. Hold it. Hmm? The mayor had another request. Uh, uh, what was it? Said we should take care of you. He what? No, this has to be a joke, right? Hate to break it to you, Kyrie. But this is no laughing matter. What? Wait, hang on a sec. Please. Why would he ask you, my own business partner, to take me out? What did I do wrong? Oh god, I don't know. Wait a minute. Is this about my looks? I'm so gorgeous that you can't take your eyes off me, distracting you from your mercenary duties. Right? That's the best you can come up with? No, wait! Let me guess. Are you mad that I called myself a mercenary? Or was it that I pressured you into doing all the dirty work? Or that I wasn't giving you a big enough cut? <sighs> Do you wanna die? Forgive my granddaughter her questionable sense of humor. Uh, Grandma? I was taking some time off to enjoy the sun when I heard a merc was in town. Figured I'd pay him a visit and, well... <laughs> if Cloud hadn't come to your rescue, young lady, you would have been a goner. <sighs> Don't be fooled. That mayor's no model citizen. He's as wicked as they come. You need to pick your targets with care. Yeah, yeah. You've told me a thousand times. Make it a thousand and one, because you still don't get it. Look, I'm doing my best out here, okay? It's just that some things are beyond my control. You're the one who doesn't get it. No matter what I try every single time, it's... I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh... Kyrie, you know I only want what's best for you. And if you're to be the next guardian angel of the slums... Honestly, I kind of get where Kyrie is coming from here. Parents want kids to listen to them because they know what's best, but they don't. They just want us to do whatever they tell us. And that really, really sucks, you know? Mm. <sighs> I've always looked up to the guardian angel of the slums. But that's your thing, Grandma, not mine. And no matter how much I want to follow in your footsteps and make you proud, I can't. Because I'm not you. I'm me. <laughs> I don't know. You certainly sound just like me. Oh? Oh, forgive me, dear. I know I shouldn't push you. Or nitpick your technique. So how about this? We work together as partners, equals. Sound fair? <sighs> now then, shall we head home? The people need us. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> In any case, thanks for looking out for my little Merc. I'll be taking her back to Midgar. Try to make sure she stays there. <laughs> Trying's about all I can do. <laughs> Thank you for stepping in back there. Eh, I was just so pissed I had to say something. <laughs> Stay strong. You too. Girl power and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, partner. Coming! Actually, what say we look for one last job before we leave? Oh, I've got an idea. You see, I dug up a little dirt about that mare. Just a little? <laughs> so, what do we do now? We go and tell the mayor we took care of the merc. Just like he wanted. Okay, so I guess that completes all of Carrie's side quest. I forgot we got to complete um, Billy the Chocobo Tender side quest too. Okay, we have to go to the Gold Cup. Coast of Del Sol 
um, I'll probably just record the actual like gold cup like the interactions the cinematics but just skip the races because I think there's a bunch of races that I have to do so I'm gonna just skip all that oh, there you are friends I heard you ran that little swindler out of town I would have preferred a more final farewell but she's gone and that's enough as a token of my thanks, accept this reward. Sir, we've got trouble. See for yourself. They even found the secret safe. It's empty. What? You better head back. We hereby bequeath your ill-gotten gains to the more deserving masses. And it's signed, the first and third guardian angels of the slums. Radiant saviors of the sun-kissed. No way! <laughs> you go, girls! Oh, bunch of XP. What, there's another quest on the board? Let me see. Uh, oh yeah, the gold copper bust. Yep, I need to get that knocked out. What else did I say? Ah, you know what? Let's... Let me pick up that side quest first and foremost. So that way I have it. But let's go see Regina in Gungaga. You know what? I just realized. Did I ever get the last um I see you've secured summons? yourself a rather I hope to create a ship of my own one day. Perhaps even an airship. You'll have to join me on its maiden voyage. All right, so yeah, I didn't do uh, Kujata, so let me grab that real quick. I just, I just realized since we were back here in um, Gengaga that I haven't done that yet. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to run into, so I'm going to go with my regular setup. get my assess uh, switches between fire ice lightning um, alignments dealing a certain amount of damage by exploiting its elemental weakness while pressuring it remove it from current all right Ice. Block that. This should be enough to get him pressured. 
I mean, uh, staggered. There it is. Okay, now that we got that, and I got that out of the way, I've seen Chadley like three times, Excellent and I still keep forgetting. To think that anyone could tame a beast of so many affinities. I cannot say where this wild steed might lead you, but I encourage you to find out. Hey, Needless thank you, Titan. Many hazards await you on the road, so take care. There's something. It's break time, boys, and I say we Regina. Fancy seeing you again. What are you doing here? No, don't tell me. Are you here for a match? I'm game, I guess. Oh, come on. You doing this or what? Uh, yeah. Blood tactician. I gotta beat Regina. She remained. Her heart became black as pitch. Conquest was now her cause. Her subjects mere fodder to feed her boundless ambition. And so her kingdom grew as her people perished. Until, that is, a ray of hope appeared. A sorceress who would be their salvation. And with her arcane powers, she led the people in rebellion, captured the queen, and put her to death. Yet from the island's mouth, spilled blood as dark as shadow. And from this wicked Ikor, the myriad fiends of the world were born. And that is the story of the Shadow Blood Queen. Some call it a parable, a myth, a fairy tale, and I wish it were. But she is as real as you and I. And she is coming. Her resurrection is nigh. You know what must be done. She cannot be allowed to return. She must not reclaim her throne. Pray you will succeed where I so miserably failed. You are our last hope, Cloud. I await you at the haunted hotel. You must hurry. <gasps> Don't mind me. Not been feeling so hot. Hey, Cloud, do you know anything about the Shadow Blood Queen card? 
It's the most powerful card in the world. One of a kind. Though, it seems there's a special card that can supposedly counter it. The Emerald Witch. <gasps> sorry, sorry. Just forget I said anything. I'm really tired is all. Too many competitions lately. Congratulations, Cloud. You have risen to the rank of Blood Marquis. By the way, I recently received a letter addressed to you. It read, I'll be waiting for you at the hotel in the Gold Saucer from a friendly specter. Are they inviting you to play Queen's Blood with them? I wonder. Okay, fantastic. So... We are almost done with the Queen's Blood quests. Let's see. So back to Rosanne. So should we go to Cosmo Canyon or should we just go to the Corral region and finish that off? Yeah, because I can also do the Gold Cup. That's Billy's request and that's that one. Let's do it.
Okay, the Queen's Blood storyline is getting dramatic. Oh, I didn't even know there was a shop here. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of... Oh, this might be useful. I gotta get some more points for that. A stuffed Tonberry. Didn't even know this was available. Alright, I gotta get some more points so I can get the rest of that stuff. Alright, so since I'm here, let's go to Gold Bust. Gold or Bust. Uh, where is it? Yeah, Chocobo Square. signed you up as soon as I could. After all, you're the best jockey I know. The cup is three races, and you get points based on where you place in each. Bird with the most at the end wins. But the races are nothing like you've ever seen before. Gotta be on the ball if you want to take the top spot. Anyway, when you're ready to face off against the finest riders this side of the continent, head on over to registration. Okay. I guess I didn't have to do quests. Races are oh. scheduled for today. Let's see, Gold Cup. So can I get straight into it? Uh, three lap race held. All right, so I got to do all these races. Okay, so I will come. We will be back once I have all of these completed. Wow, this is gonna take a while. I can't believe it. This is really happening. We're about to race in the Gold Cup. Oh, hell. I can't tell you how long I've been waiting for this moment. We made it! <laughs> Rain it in. Couldn't even if I wanted. Okay, Cloud. Your bird's ready and raring to go. All that's left is... <sighs> Cheek. If that ain't the stupidest. Obviously, some sore losers are trying to raise a stink. We'd best nip this thing in the bud. You tell them the reason we keep winning is because we know how to take care of our birds. Long time no see, Merc. And Miss Tifa, too. Should have told me you were dropping by. Would have given you a royal treatment. Oh, hey, Sam. <laughs> you gotta say, I'm surprised to see your name on the jockey list. What sparked your interest in bird racing? This and that. Fell into it, did you? Well, you're a natural. Not just anybody can break my ace of streak. <laughs> that was just a practice race. My official record is still pristine. This is the Gold Cup. The contest for which Hyperion and I have trained non-stop. You got the drop on us before, but you won't get lucky twice. Now we're talking. You two are gonna give the people a race to remember. <laughs> You're... Billy, I work on Bill's ranch. You might remember my parents, Will and Clara, since you killed them. Did I? Don't play dumb. You were mad their business was eating into your profits. So you got them addicted to gambling. It was all part of your grand plan. Hmm. <laughs> Wouldn't say the story is that simple, but the truth can be one bitter drink, and you ain't nowhere near old enough to keep it down. I ain't just some stupid kid, and I'll prove it to you. If my man here wins the gold cup, that's proof I'm old enough to hear your truth. You're on. Piddly little ranch like yours ain't got a chance, but best of luck to y'all. Sure about this? Pressure's on now. Yeah, well, all I gotta do is win it all, right?
Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Gold Saucers Chocobo Racetrack, which today plays host to racing's biggest competition, the Gold Cup. Over three grueling races, our contenders will push themselves to the limit. The world is watching with bated breath as the best of the best take their places for what will surely be one heck of a race. Fan favorite Joe will be riding the Chocobo Hyperion for Sam's delivery service. And given his track record, many expect the decorated champion to be first across the finish line. All right, folks, our contenders are ready. Every gate is occupied, so this is it. The moment you've been waiting for, the Gold Cup. We hope you're ready for more, ladies and gentlemen, because we're just getting started. Here comes our next race. This is turning into one heated tournament, folks. But who will be riding home with the Gold Cup? Only one more race remains in this exciting event. Let's see who comes out on top. Believe it! The Gold Cup goes to none other than Cloud Strike and Bill's Chocobo Ranch. He's taken three races in a row in an unprecedented, flawless victory. No one saw this snake in the grasslands coming, and now the racing world is sure to remember his name. <laughs> I know. Mind letting me breathe? <laughs> nice riding. Thanks. There's a streak running bastard. You stole the title right out from under my nose. Well, Hyperion didn't make it easy. <laughs> I'd hope not. Mighty fine bird you raised. He beat mine fair and square. Just tell me, what happened to my parents? I held up my end of the bargain. Now it's your turn. Son, do you know what kind of business your parents were trying to break into after they got their ranch up and running? Wild Chocobo Conservation. 
It's no secret that environmental changes have been hard on the birds. And what's bad for them is bad for business. Unfortunately, nobody seemed to care. Saving the planet ain't cheap, you see. Folks know somebody's got to pay for it, but they'll be damned if it's going to be them. So while everybody else turned a blind eye, one couple faced the problem head on. Your parents. They had everything they'd need. The know-how, drive, and passion. Thing is, none of that counts for much if you ain't got the gill. So they went around taking out loans left and right till they were swimming in debt, which is when they ran into the meanest shark of them all. Reckon you know who. Don Corneo. Uh, I didn't know it at the uh, time, but that sleazy son uh, bitch was rounding up folks and shipping yeah, them yeah, off yeah, to yeah, Shinra yeah. <laughs> for their experiments. Oh, Will and Claire figured it was yeah, the only yeah. way they'd be able to save their business, so they signed up. <laughs> while later, Will paid me a visit, begged me to take the reins in his and Claire's stead. He wanted what was best for those birds. As did I, so I took him up on the offer and bought him out. And since then, I ain't seen either one of your parents. It was only after that I heard about Corneo's antics through the grapevine. Couldn't do a thing to stop him. Not with Shinra in the wings. That's for sure. They say anything about me? Or my sister? Not to me, no. Don't go thinking they forgot about you. You and your sister were always at the forefront of their minds. The business might have gone south. But they chose to give up their future to make sure you two could have yours. That's why you got a roof over your head, a place to work, and food to eat. I can't believe it. I've had it wrong this whole time. Son, I'd be surprised if there's a wild chocobo out there that doesn't owe its freedom to your mom and your dad, one way or another. Hell of a legacy to live up to, but if you want it, the business is yours. Just know this, it ain't gonna turn a profit. So unless you can find a way to fund it, you'll wind up in the same trouble as your folks. Think it over. Maybe chat with Papa too. Call it. Heads or tails, son. Get it right, and I'll float you some operating capital. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm gonna do this on my own. Me and Chloe and Gramps, I mean. Hmm. <laughs> you truly are their boy. Got your old man's pig head and your mother's backbone. Not bad. <sighs> I... I'm gonna do my parents proud. You'll see. It may take some time, but I'll make sure their legacy lives on. I don't get it. If Gramps knew all this, why did he make it sound like Sam was to blame? He was probably trying to protect you, to stop you from going after Corneo or Shinra on your own. So he pinned it on Sam. Knowing that your uncle would be okay shouldering the blame. Shouldn't have to tell you this, 
but seeking revenge would be stupid. I know. Still, if an opportunity did happen to come along, you'd help me out, wouldn't you? Hey, I'm a world-famous jockey now. Can't be associated with that kind of stuff. Uh. <laughs> you had me going there. Okay. Very nice. Okay, so the actual races, like, all put together took me like an hour and some change. So I'm glad I got that wrapped up, but it's good to see a conclusion to Billy's quest. So, let's see. So I think the only thing we got left is maybe one more here in the community board. For some reason, this shows one there for the community board. But as far as I know, there's no real big side quest um so i think i might just go ahead and clean up uh cosmo canyon get that all done and uh, knock out the corral region and then in the next video we will get the pirate's treasure and go track down um the turks so until then don't forget to like comment subscribe peace